So, you're having a good day, and out of nowhere, some unwanted thought comes to mind. You think to yourself, what the heck? Where did that come from? That's not me. At one point or another, we've all had unwanted images, phrases, or impulses pop into our heads. And this can be a big problem for some, and even cause people to question their salvation. So why do we have these thoughts? Number one is the sinful nature of the flesh. And number two is the fact that we have worldly and sinful things around us every day. May it be TV and movies, music playing in a shopping mall, or the advertisements on billboards everywhere we go. And the more we are surrounded with the things of this world, the more likely our minds are to remember these things or be influenced by them. So the saying goes, garbage in, garbage out. At other times, it may be the enemy whispering or enticing us to sin. But a momentary thought is not a sin in itself. We have to remember what it says in the book of James. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then, when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. This is saying that when we put that thought, that sinful thought, into action, it becomes sin. Yet we also have Jesus saying in Matthew 5, You have heard it was said to those of old, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Lust is an action of thinking impure things. It's not just saying, Wow, he or she is hot or beautiful. It's taking it a step further and fantasizing or picturing things happening in your mind. Even in 1 John, it says that anyone who hates his brother is a murderer. So to God, hating a brother or sister in Christ is as serious as being a murderer. But once again, hatred isn't just a quick thought. To hate someone, you really have to think about things, dwell on them, build up that anger, and make a conscious decision to hate them. But it's important not to become overly guilt-ridden about bad thoughts when they happen, because this can lead into depression or even lead a person to think, hey, I already thought that bad thing, so pff, I might as well just do it since I've already sinned. Remember that for the most part, momentary sinful thoughts are different than sinful actions. We are told in 2 Corinthians to take every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. I remember when I was very young and my grandma told me, Sean, if you ever have a bad thought, you just say, go away, Satan. So now, when a bad thought comes to mind, we can recognize it and say, no, that is not from you, Lord, and I will not agree with this. Go away, Satan. Romans 12 tells us not to conform to the pattern of this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. And then we are able to test and approve what God's perfect will is. The more we focus on God's truth, the easier it will be to recognize ungodly thoughts when they do pop into our heads. And remember that if you do sin, we are told in 1 John that if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive us and purify us from all unrighteousness. So, we'll leave it here for today, but as always, leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.